Hey, what's good, one? How you been? I figured today, we should, why not check out Lumen? Why not? And come on, who wrote these? In the teaser, we had a different sound, so I'm expecting different vibe from So What. And so What was amazing. Like the moment I play it, it's, it's stuck in the head. Okay. So I'm expecting this to be stuck in the head as well. I really, really like the teaser. Well, I have really high expectations for this. For any other Luma songs you may check out, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Let's do this. Take a seat. Let's the drink. Let's see every time. Luna, why not? Less. Typical, very clean Luna logo. It's not a synth, but it's a really cool instrument. Claps, mm, claps, claps always hit well. It's, and it's gonna elevate so nice, pick up so nice. This is pre chorus. Okay, okay, I'm okay. I think it is, I think it is. Yeah, it is. Ooh, that was pretty. Mm. I didn't expect these kind of lyrics though. It's kind of cute. But I'm okay with it. Definitely not what I expected. They definitely also switched their beat to something more cheerful. I like the skipping. Okay. In that. Not expected. Yeah, yeah, they changed it. Mm. Okay. Ooh, they brought it back. So they're playing with the kind of duality. Okay, okay. The rap sections are also nice. Okay. They've also been playing with a lot of colors and sets here, so... Explosions. Yeah, a lot of sets, a lot of different colors. The look. Okay. I, I liked it. They had like a sun and a moon. Wow, wow. That line is also pretty catchy. The blue hair, also a nice touch. Bridge. Are they on? Oh, they're on the moon. This was from the teaser. Okay. I also found it cool they had like um, four members, uh, four different members during the chorus dance. She's flying. That was. Hmm. It was a su I feel like. Was this subtle? They subtly transition from bridge to a final verse, but then they pick it up. There's a lot of orbs. That's... If someone tells me somehow that magically a really deep storyline, I would be really confused. Why is she missing a shoe? Okay, so this wasn't what I expected, but I'm okay with it. So initially, I'm thinking, go crush five, different style instrumental, hitting hard. But this gave us like a duality kind of thing. And throughout the whole music video, whole song, it's about duality, two different styles. Music video, you have like the dark set and the bright set. And just all the details show like the duality. You have the moon in the dark set, and then the sun in the bright set. There's definitely a darker vibe with more neon colors, 
as kind of the brightness and the lighting for the dark set. They have lighting like moonlight lighting. And some the other one has sunlight lighting. Oh true. So as I just realized, the darker set has like a neon touch and a white light, whereas the the cheerful more cheerful sets have brighter lighting and sunlight. Again, two different styles. Even the dance, dance shares two different styles. You have moments where they're hitting a little bit harder and more aggressive, and then you have the moments where they're doing moves that are a little more cute, like the skip move, the different arm gestures. Arm gestures do a lot. It kind of depicts whether you want to go for the cute angle at the moment or the aggressive. Either way, they kind of swim through both styles pretty quick. So I feel like that probably is the most fluid in the two styles. Visuals were good, they're super pretty. Skin skincare is on point. As usual, their outfits do vary. Most of the members don't really match, except for the first course. They kind of have a similar style, but outside of that, the outfits vary hard. They go from dresses to a kind of more Jackety streetwear. Look, streetwear. That's that's the right word. Lastly, vocals. There's again still a lot of duality. They have their rap and hardcore lines, and then they have more cutesy lines, more playful. The cuter lines definitely have more echo in them, and repeated vocals were definitely the badass vibe. Just goes through a completely different angle. More aggressive. Uh, there are lines like. Don't kill my vibe, that's a no-no. Like, they got your typical, don't mess with me, kind of feel, in the lyrics, which is solid. There definitely are hype moments and exaggerated moments. Like, right before the chorus, there's like a, kind of, not a, a no vocal moment, but just a focus on the beat. And that might just, as well. All right, that's it for me. Let me know what you thought of the song, comment section below. And as always, I'll leave a link to the music video, description box below. Aside of that, until next time, I'll catch you. I remember